The family was completely focused on the good things they remembered about my parents, especially my dad, with the, the success and the sort of rags to riches story. And there was a lot of pain and uh, feeling from my grandmother there. And I was getting the sense in the community that this was sort of a loss for the Cuban community, that he would have gone on to be senator and his greatness. And my brother and I talked about making a book that would be uh, about all the great things he had achieved and that everybody would appreciate that. And I wanted, I thought that would be a great idea. So I wanted to do that. Why did you want to write a book praising your dad after the things he had done to you? For those reasons I said, I just I admired his success and I felt like there were a lot of people in the whole Cuban community in Miami and so on that were admiring the sort of myth of my father and uh, just wanting to preserve that. And my own feeling of the guilt which just seemed to grow with myself and I think with Eric as relatives continued to uh, talk about how great my dad was and also um, some of them had a very big misconception as to the family and uh, the image of the family and the relationship between my mom and dad. I remember my uncle Brian talking about uh, it was like a storybook romance and how great the relationship was and which of course wasn't true and so those things were making me feel guilty.